Hello everyone, hello YouTube. So basically guys, today's video is a certificate review. As you know, I have reviewed many certificates in the past. In this video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna review one of the most uh, discussed certificates on Coursera, okay? So basically here, I'm gonna be reviewing cybersecurity specialization. Cybersecurity specialization is comprised of four courses and one capstone project, okay? Now, uh, in this video, we will find answers whether not to take this course or to take, whether to take this course or not to make an informed decision whether this course is for you or not and to uh, find out more details about what this course contains, what are, what, how, 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 how is the recency of this course, how it is up to date with the current trends and you know, uh, what's happening in the cybersecurity field, all right? So let me start with the components or, or the courses that comprises this specialization. So first, we have the usable security course. Second, we have software security. Third, we have cryptography, hardware security, and a capstone project. Now, as far as the date codes, this, I completed this course on June 2017. Some of you guys may be wondering, I mean, how come uh, it came to your mind to use the certificate now? So basically, uh, it's a good question, uh, but I don't know the answer. Just came to my mind to give people a review on the certificate. I have seen many people asking this question. Uh, I mean, they're questioning the feasibility and plausibility of this specialization. But basically, guys, First piece of information to know about this specialization, it, it is kind of old, right? So 2017, I mean, it is three years ago, right? So three years, many stuff has changed in the cybersecurity arsenal, uh, arena. So put this in mind, but if you want to refresh on knowledge you already have, it is a good thing to have in your arsenal. Also, the certificate is... Uh, I mean, it's from University of Maryland, College Park, which has a dedicated cybersecurity center. If you go to Google, um, uh, and Google University of Maryland cybersecurity center, these guys have a dedicated cybersecurity research center for, cyber, for you know, researching the latest trends of cybersecurity. Now, this is for the dates. Uh, let's look at the components. So first, let's look, go to usable security. So now, as you can see, usable security has seven weeks. And for every week, guys, you will see um, videos. As you can see, the course has videos. And at the end of every week, you have practice assessment. Sometimes it is a graded assessment. It means that other people who are involved in the course uh, need to um, take a look at your submission and to decide whether it is, you know, according to specific criteria uh, set by the instructors, whether you pass the criteria of the course or not. Uh, sorry, the assignment. Week two is the same, but week two you have, you know, quiz. So sometimes it is a quiz, sometimes it is an assignment. So that's how you uh, step from one week to the other week. That's how. That's as far as the components uh, go. Now, let's go to the topics. So basically, here we go to overview. As you can see, here we have kind of you know uh, preludes about the course. A usable security is, in a summary guy. Usable security it, it it gives you an overview of both the uh, production side and the security side of working in cybersecurity. So, you know, when you enroll in projects, uh, whether it is for an existing client you have, if you are an agency, or whether you are working for, um, let's say, a company, whether you are part of cybersecurity team and you work for your company, provide your cybersecurity um, services to your company, um, there is a side, or there is uh, an aspect, which is, balancing and making a trade-off between the production uh, and the progress of uh, a project and 
making that you know uh, in in line let's say in line with the security side so as the uh, adage says or as the as far as the saying uh, says you know we have something like security is something that is built in the project it is not an afterthought so basically usable security it's all about this how to combine and integrate your uh, production or your, your project progress with your security you know we don't want to we don't want secu- how to not make security an obstacle in your project and not also make your project vulnerable to uh, you know uh, threats so that's for usable security next we have software security now this course kind of interesting i like this course it has a um, lab or not lab it's project it has a project where you have to review uh, a vulnerable application and you know detect the buffer overflow vulnerability in, in it so basically here we go to you see it is one of the week i could remember but i'm gonna walk you through this uh, so basically here you have Quiz uh, in the week six, I think. I think. Um, yeah. So basically, you will find software security course is interesting. It's enjoyable, and it gives you a good underlying knowledge about software security. You know, guys, the basic principle of um, you know software security life cycle. It, walk you through over the all these cycles and give you a good understanding how to integrate security into all uh, into all these cycles throughout the lifetime of the your of your software project so basically it talks about you know memory safety um, secure coding also it provides a good understanding of injection attacks whether in the web application side and here Week five, it gives you a project to work on. So this project here, kind of lab, you download the file, binary file, and then you make kind of fuzzing and decide the vulnerability and how to exploit buffer overflow in this app. So it's an enjoyable course, you will like it. Although it's not easy, guys. All right, the third course is cryptography. The enjoyable part and the hard part as you know, we all feared cryptography and cybersecurity. So basically here, um, as far as how up-to-date this course is, um, let me say it, it, it contains the, uh, the principles and the foundations of cryptography, but of course, it needs uh, some refresh uh, from the current trends in cryptography. So here, it gives you a basic understanding of public key, cryptography, private uh, key, um, it's symmetric, symmetric encryption, hashing. You will find all of this in this course, but it doesn't have a lab. It, have, it has exercises, actually. So you in assignments, you have optional assignments to work on. Okay. Um, hardware security. Um, okay, hardware security, although it is not, I don't see this course as... Um, you know, practical as it should be, but um, it doesn't it doesn't harm guys to take this course, especially if you are looking to take the certificate of the full specialization. Uh, so basically, here you know how our security it, uh, guides you and walk you through from the start how systems are built, uh, the digitization of the system, how the binaries, the XOR. The end, all of this kind of stuff, you know, the stuff that you take in computer science university, computer science 101, 102, you will find these here, guys. And it, it walks you through, through over marketing, uh, sorry, marketing, water, water making, fingerprinting, and cryptographic principles. Also, no labs in this course. You have final exam, and you know, as you as you all know, guys, we have discussion forums and something like that. Now, for the capstone, I would like to tell you guys, the capstone project is not available in the current time. So once you pass the four courses, you can submit a request to Coursera to claim the specialization certificate since the capstone is not available anymore. 
So I think here there must be an update about this. Uh, let me click on that. But you can definitely, you can take the exercise or the capstone and do it on your own, but there is no one to um, grade your assignment. So basically here, I faced and encountered this obstacle while uh, trying to finish the specialization. I didn't find anyone to grade my assignment since the, uh, the resources to complete this assignment are not available anymore. That's why I resorted to Coursera to, you know, also up uh, you know, also uh, grade my course. So I didn't do this course. I couldn't, since the resources for completing this course are not available anymore. So this course will not be an obstacle to you guys. Once you complete these four courses, submit a ticket to Coursera, and you will have this passed automatically. So if this course for you or not, if you are starting off in cybersecurity, I recommend this course for you guys to take a general practical overview of uh, cybersecurity. You know, uh, if you are an advanced uh, learner, then this course um, is not for you guys. If you are an advanced learner, if you are specialized in uh, an aspect of cybersecurity, like you know, incident response, governance, regulations, compliance. This course is not for you unless you are looking to, you know, you know, decorate your wall with additional certificates. How this certificate looks like? Uh, hard question, actually. I don't know where to find this, but I think I'm gonna go to accomplishments. I'm gonna satisfy your curiosity. Ah, oh. where is it? Okay, so once you finish the specialization, your fantasy certificate will look like this. You like it? I personally, I like it. It's not bad to have it in your arsenal. Um, and you'll see here all the transcripts of your courses in case you are required to submit a transcript to the employer or to university. By the way, this course is accredited. You can submit that to claim credits in case you are, you know, applying for... It depends on the university. Some universities, they don't recognize this for uh, credits, but some universities, I mean, you know, I don't know what are the universities. You need to look this up in Google, uh, but some universities, uh, recognize this course for extra credits in your program. Depends on the program, of course. Now, that's my review on this. I will be putting and publishing this video on my YouTube channel. I'm going to try to put some, you know, write-up about this. I don't promise you. Though. Okay, guys, thank you so much.